One of my favorite categories of products are ones that I kind of forget exist, but not in a bad way. Just ones that are so good that I never have to think about them again. Once you buy them, you're kind of set. And one area that has never entered this category is webcams. There are always some form of not very good. That is until I use this, the Insta360 Link. So this has been out for a few months, but when Insta360 reached out and asked if I want to check it out, I was, uh, I guess, a little skeptical. I mean, yeah, I'm sure it's going to be good, but it's still just a webcam. Like, does it really matter? But I will say that after using it for a few weeks, this has now entered that category of products that you should just buy, and you never really have to think about your webcam ever again. Okay, so I want to put this camera to the test, so I'm going to step away from my main setup here, go down in front of the webcam, and film the rest of the video there. I am in my office, so excuse the less than stellar audio because this room is not treated whatsoever, but more videos on this whole room and setup coming up soon. For me, if I needed to use a camera during a video call or something like that, I would default to just using my phone because I knew that would be kind of the best quality, but that meant I'd have to also do everything on my phone, which if you're taking a lot of meetings or you know, depending on what you're working on, that's not always the way to go. Now, the Insta360 offers a few things that are unique, but really the main one for me that it does that is just absolutely great is the image quality and I think it looks excellent. So this comes with a half inch sensor which for a webcam is pretty crazy and that means you get 4k video that looks really clean and sharp. Now this is still a very small camera so you have to have your expectations in line with that but for a webcam I mean it's the best quality that I think you can get out of anything. And what's interesting is that the quality of the camera is just the beginning. There's so much more that is packed into this. And obviously, if you look at it, it has a gimbal built in, which for a webcam, kind of strange. But there's a lot of things that this comes in handy for. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't use this all that often. It's not really something that I personally need. But the features that it gives you, I could see being very useful in certain situations. Now, one area where this really does come in handy is being able to move the camera without needing to actually touch it. You can do it all from software. For me, I'm using a C2, which is 42 inches. That's my display. It's big. And that also means the top of the display is pretty high. So if I put the webcam there, which, you know, fits no problem, works perfectly perfectly fine there. There's actually a little clip that lets it sit on any kind of display, whether it's super thin like this, or if it's pretty chunky, it'll work anywhere there. Plus there's a quarter 20 thread. So if you want to put it on a tripod or anything like that, that'll work too. But since it is sitting up on the top of this display, I kind of have to point it down at me. And that is where the gimbal comes in great because I can just go into software, click it down a little, and now it points down at me instead of straight across the room. Now to do all this gimbal control, you're going to use the Insta360 Link software. So you can just download that. This is where you would update any drivers, anything like that. And with the gimbal control, there's a few things you can do. The most basic is just move the camera around, like I mentioned, and you could move it in any direction, up, down, side to side, wherever you need it, you can point it in that way. But honestly, doing all that manually is kind of pointless because you have other smart features built in that will help do it for you. And the main thing is gestures. So if you hold your palm up, it'll actually turn on auto track so that it can follow you no matter where you move in the room. This is great if you're you know, moving to the side and you need to show someone something or if you're gonna get up for a second but still wanna be on camera, this will track you so that you're always right in the center of the frame. And there's also zoom capability built into that. So if you move across the room, it'll zoom in and keep you in the frame exactly as if you're you know, sitting in front of the desk and it works really well. Now with that AI and gimbal movement, I think one of the main questions or concerns you might have is, do I really want a webcam not only to be looking at me, but also be tracking me at all times? Well, obviously that is a concern and you could easily take it off of your computer anytime you're not using it, if that's the direction you wanna go. But Insta360 have thought of that, so when you're not using anything that is you know, tapping into the camera, if the camera's off, it actually will point down so that you know it can't see anything. Even if for some reason, reason the AI was on, it still wouldn't be looking at you. You can look at it and see that it's not working. Now, aside from the smart gimbal moves, there's also other features built in like a desktop view. So it actually point itself down and you can show everything that's on your desk. If you need to you know, show off a document or something like that, there's a whiteboard mode. So if you're giving a presentation or something that you want to show, this will work with that. There's also a streamer mode. So if you're doing something on social media, for instance, it can actually work in vertical orientation as well. And it has like full manual control of what your video looks like. You can control the ISO, the white balance, the shutter speed, all of 
that is independently controlled on this camera. Do you really need to be doing that for you know your Zoom calls? Well, I don't know about that, but for instance, for what I'm doing now, recording a video, this is all manual control and it looks pretty great. This also has noise canceling microphones built in so that when you're taking calls, if there's noise going on in the background, you should be good. Right now I'm recording into my studio mic here on my desk, but now I'll switch over to the built-in mics. They're about two feet away from me, so you can kind of hear what they sound like. Obviously, like I said at the beginning, I'm in a very echoey room right now, so it might not sound all that good, but for video calls and for all those kind of standard webcam tasks, I think it sounds perfectly fine. So I think that leaves the question of, is it worth spending money for a dedicated webcam like this over what is most likely built into your laptop or maybe even using your phone? And really it comes down to what your kind of setup is. If you're on the go all the time, then I don't know if this is necessarily the best move to go with. It is pretty portable, but it is still one more thing that I don't know if I'd set up every single time if I'm just on my laptop all the time. But if you have a dedicated desk setup, whether you're in your office at work or you're at home like I am here, then it is absolutely worth it. It's one of those products that you can just buy, set up, and never think about again. But yeah, I mean, it's a pretty simple concept. This is a webcam that looks great, has a gimbal built in so you can move it anywhere, and AI built in so that it can follow you as you move around. It pretty much has every feature that you could possibly want. If you want to learn more about this or pick one up for yourself, I'll leave links down below. But yeah, the Insta360 link has moved into that category of products that's now that it's here, now that I've used it, I really never have to think about it again because the Insta360 link really hit it out of the park.